As we all know, the Houston Texans got absolutely whooped by the Kansas City Chiefs last Saturday with the final score of 51 to 31 and a game that the Texans led at one point 24 to nothing. So how did we how exactly did we lose this game? It all started with the coaching. Big issues were the first quarter we were rolling Special teams, offense, defense, they were all doing their thing to an extent. Defense kind of got lucky a few drives with some drops. But nonetheless, everybody was handling their business. Um, and then it kind of all started to fall apart towards the end of the first, really beginning of the second. Um, we were at our own 15 or so, I think. It was fourth and inches. Phil O'Brien went for a field goal, which I, I don't disapprove of. But I, when you look back at it, you probably should have gone for the touchdown. You needed those extra points to make it 28 to nothing. But he said himself he didn't have a play he didn't have a play he liked for a fourth and inches situation with Deshaun Watson of all people. It's not hard to draw something up for fourth and inches. But I won't nitpick on that too much because I was fine with the field goal. I, I don't think that's what lost us the momentum entirely. What lost us the momentum was the fake punt on our own 30-yard line. I get the thing that doesn't make sense is earlier, a few minutes ago, Bill O'Brien, he wanted to be conservative. He wanted to take his field goal at his own 15 with fourth and inches. Now you're fourth and three, 30 yards away. If you fail, the opposing team has the ball 30 yards away from the end zone and now you want to be aggressive, you do a fake snap, or you you snap it to Justin Reed, who's a really good player, but he's not a running back. He's not a wide receiver. If you would have snapped that to one of those skill positions, maybe you get the first down. But I absolutely hated that call. It made no sense. You're up 17. Why would you even fake that? I That is what gave us, well, that's what gave the Chiefs all the momentum, all the momentum in the world. The next kickoff after that, the Chiefs scored. When we got the ball back, we fumbled, and then the Chiefs scored off of that. And it just kept steamrolling and steamrolling and steamrolling. The offense couldn't answer back for a long time. Um, really, after after it was 24 nothing, we got outscored 51-7. to The offense could not stop the bleeding. We couldn't catch up enough. And the defense itself could not. They give up seven straight touchdowns. It's inexcusable. Bill O'Brien needs better decision making. Romeo Cornell needs to be fired. As much he's had a lot of really good defenses, but he's losing his way. He's losing his touch. Romeo needs to be out of Houston. We need a new defensive coordinator. But after losing by twenty points in a in a game where you had a twenty four to nothing lead, where do you go from here? Uh, I think it all starts with a brand new coaching staff, a brand new front office. You need a new GM. You, I would like a new head coach. You need an offensive coordinator, and you need a new defensive coordinator. Now, who exactly to take those spots, I'm not sure. For GM, one name that's always been around this Texans franchise really since the beginning of this season was Nick Casario from the Patriots. I would approve of that. He would bring a nice stability to this franchise, which... I don't think we've had in a long time. Not that we're super unstable. It's just that we're never fully together like we should be. We're not a fully... We're not a terrible franchise in terms of stability, but we can be better with it. I think Sarah would be a good hire for that. And I've even said Bill O'Brien as GM. I would probably be okay with that because what he's shown... He can make a lot of really good trades. The Tunsil with Stills, Duke. He can make good trades. So all in all, as much as I don't want Bill as head coach anymore, if he were to move to purely GM, I could I could live with that. Now, who goes to head coach? I'm not sure. I don't want Bill O'Brien anymore. There's still a handful of Texans fans that say, give Bill O'Brien a chance. I think he's ran out of chances. He's had six seasons here. He's the sixth, tied for sixth most longest tenured head coach in the league. And compared to all of them, he's done nothing. Everyone else ahead of him or tied with him has at least 
got to the NFC, got into a conference championship game, got into the Super Bowl, or won the Super Bowl. Um, as far as he's ever gotten was is the divisional round, and I know you can say, well, he's only had Deshaun Washington for three years. He got as far as he did with Watson, as far as he did with Brock Osweiler. That's not excusable. That's you have Watson. You should have gotten at least the AFC Championship. We had a chance to host the AFC Championship. All you had to do was handle business. You handled it for one quarter, and then, and then we just fell apart. I don't know what. I do know what happened. Momentum switched because of bad decision making. We couldn't answer back on offense. But either way, I'm tired of Bill as head coach. Um, I think it's time for someone else to give it a shot. I know a lot of people say Watson wants Bill O'Brien. He's defending him. But of course he's going to defend him. He's the first head coach he's ever had. Generally, players do like have a special place in their heart for their first head coach unless it's someone really terrible. I don't think Bill's terrible. He just can't get us to that next step. So I think it's time to move on. Who would be a replacement head coach? A lot of Texans fans, including myself, like Eric Bieniemy from the Chiefs, their offensive coordinator. Um, we know the Chiefs have a good offense. I think that would be a good transition from him, one, high power, one high-powered offense to another that can really be high-powered with Watson and Hopkins and the crew. Um, there's others out there. I'm sure there are. As of right now, I can't think of a whole lot off the top of my head. Some people have said Jason Garrett. No, I'd rather still I'd rather stick with Bill O'Brien than Jason Garrett. Keep Garrett away from my team. No. But um, as else for who head co- who head coach would be, I'm not sure. All I know is I don't want Bill as coach anymore. Um, offensive coordinator. I don't know. But you got to bring in somebody. The thing with the Texans is Bill O'Brien has so much power in this team. He is the GM. He is the head coach. He is the offensive coordinator. He has too much power. And when one thing's not clicking, generally nothing else is. He's shown he can call really good plays. But he's inconsistent with it. His decision making isn't consistent. It costs us a lot of games or almost costs us a lot of games that we get bailed out. Like the Bills game. He almost lost us the game in overtime when I believe we should have just taken a field goal. We were maybe 40 yards away. We should have just taken the field goal. He went for it. We didn't get it. Just take the field goal. Win the game. But it could have lost us the game. Thankfully it didn't. Watson turned it on. Watson saved O'Brien's job. I think I do think we would have lost that game. I think Bill would have been out. And so I think Watson saved it, saved Bob's job there. I just I'm ready for an overhaul of this coaching staff. I don't even know who I've started to think for offensive coordinator. All I know is you've got to bring someone in. Even if Bill O'Brien is still a head coach here, please bring in someone that Bill respects enough to let do the offensive play calling. Bill just has too much on his plate with being all three of those things. Like I said, the GM, the head coach, and the offensive coordinator. Let someone else take some of your duties off of your plate. Maybe you can focus more on pure head coaching aspect. And now one of the bigger, bigger issues was defensive coordinator. Romeo Cornell has had a lot of really good defenses in his career. But these last two, three years, the Texans' defense behind Romeo has not been good. I believe it was 28th this year, which it's not acceptable. I do, I really do believe we have some of the talent that can be a really good defense. I like some of our secondary pieces. I think they just need a better scheme. And I like Roby. I like Conley. Hargraves is up and down, but who knows. Um, I do think we have the pieces. I just don't think we have the scheme for it. Romeo, out of all things, Romeo Cornell needs to be fired the most. As much as I don't like Bill O'Brien as of right now, you have to fix something. And if you're going to only do one thing, it has to be Romeo Cornell out as defensive coordinator. Um, Marvin Lewis would be a good replacement, I think. 
the the 49ers defensive coordinator, even though I think he'll probably probably be looking for a head coaching job, if for some reason he would like to be a defensive coordinator again, try to persuade him over here. Um, but I don't know. Something's got to change. You after losing twenty, after losing by twenty points in a game you led by twenty four to nothing. You can't go into next season with the same exact coaching staff. You just can't. You need to get an offensive coordinator that will actually be able to do their job with Bill or get a new head coach, and you need to get a new defensive coordinator. If only one thing changes next season, it needs to be defensive coordinator. I'm willing to give Bob one more year if after next year nothing has changed with Bill O'Brien, if we're just another wild card out or even a divisional out, I don't care. There's no more excuses for Bill. He's had all the excuses in the book. No more. If Bill can't do it next year, he's out. But for this upcoming season, we need we definitely need a new defensive coordinator. Um on top of that, we do need a little bit of a rehaul with some players. Um while Carlos Hyde was good, while Duke Johnson was good, those are both good players. I believe we need a full-on game changer at the running back position. So I would like to draft someone, um, potentially Jonathan Taylor, J.K. Dobbins, um, just I just somebody else to really be a full-on game changer. Like I said, I like the Duke. I like Hyde. If they want to come back, I'll gladly take them. But I do think we need a new playmaker in the backfield. We could also use another wide receiver because Will Fuller, we can't trust him to stay healthy. There's a lot of talk amongst Texans fans that we want Robbie Anderson. He's kind of like Fuller, a speed guy. And while he has had injury issues, it hasn't been to the same extent as Will Fuller. And there's even said if T. Higgins falls in the draft, if he's available round two for us, maybe you'd say T. Higgins. I wouldn't be fully against that. But um, we also need to we we need to fix our defensive line. We got absolutely no pressure on Patrick Mahomes last week, and that's unacceptable. JJ's thirty something with all those injuries. He's starting to wear out. I don't think he has much left. I love him, but he's of course he's not what he used to be, and of course nobody is at thirty years of age with however many injuries he's had. Whitney Merciless is also good, but he's just not a consistent enough pass rusher to get pressure on the quarterback. So if there's an, another really good edge defender in the second, you need to potentially draft him as well. Or free agent Yannick, in, Yannick Ngakwe will be a good, would be a good addition. You have to add something to this defense, but no matter what we add on offense or defense, something has to change and it has to be with the coaching. Defensive coordinator absolutely has to change. We have to bring in an offensive coordinator. Bill cannot keep being three different positions. He can't be the GM, the head coach, and the offensive coordinator. Something has to change in this system. Um, and if in a few hours, if it came out Bill O'Brien was fired, I would be completely fine with that. But like I said, I'm willing to give him one more chance. I don't care what happens next year if... There's not a Super Bowl appearance. Get him out of here. We are ready for that next step, and if Bill can't take us there, he's not gonna. So, that's really all I've got right now. I think that's where the Texans need to get better at, specifically, mainly the coaching, especially at defensive coordinator. Um, I hope next season's different, but I just feel like it's gonna be the same story again. We're probably gonna be a 10 win team or so we might win a wild card game might and then probably lose in the divisional because that's what bill o'brien does and like i said i think bill o'brien will be a really good coach for a team that's really bad and needs to get to that mid-level but for a team that's slightly above mid-level that's ready to take that next step he obviously can't get us there so i'm ready to move on Move on from Bill, move on from Romeo Cornell, fix his coaching staff, get us a new scheme on defense. And then I I, I think that sets us up for a real good future. 
But it looks like we're going into next season with the exact same situation that we did this year, which I hope I'm wrong, but I don't see much changing next year. But if you liked what you heard, like, comment, subscribe, share my videos, help me grow my channel, and I'll see you all next time.